Hi, I'm Corinne Winter, the CEO and founder of Mission B, and we are a nonprofit bringing mindfulness to teachers and children in schools. And we are so excited to have with us today experts in the field of mindfulness and compassion, as well as teachers in the classroom and students to share with you how mindfulness has changed their life and how it can help impact the world in a positive way. Mindfulness is simply the capacity to be aware, to know what's happening as it's happening without reactivity or bias. So it's simply awareness. Mindfulness is paying attention in the moment, intentionally, without judging. The, the deep value of mindfulness is when it can teach people to like, disconnect from their attachment to their thoughts and feelings. That they're just thoughts, they're just feelings, they pass, they come and go, they don't matter that much. When you are present, when you are not having a negative response or having a non-judgmental response to thoughts, it results in a decrease in heart rate, a decrease in blood pressure, a boosting of the immune system, uh, a decrease in hormones associated with stress, and all of these effects have a very, very positive uh, result, meaning that you mentally uh, are feeling better, physically you're feeling better, and in fact studies have demonstrated that these types of practices affect your longevity. One thing that really does um, happen in the brain when we experience mindfulness is it helps us to regulate what's called the amygdala. So the amygdala is the alarm center of the brain. And when we see or experience stress, um, let's say we're about to take a test, the amygdala goes off and it sends a signal to the rest of our body. It alerts what's called the HPA axis, which is the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. And our body starts to produce cortisol and adrenaline. And there's a rush of sensation through the body. The heart races faster, the mind starts to race, the hands start to sweat. And in many children, they're experiencing this reaction chronically due to bullying or due to academic pressure. But when we practice mindfulness, we learn to regulate the amygdala to calm the brain. And we do that, that ignites the prefrontal cortex to work better and engages the hippocampus to do its job. And we need those two things to work so we can understand, comprehend, and memorize information. What we found is that the brain changes based on repeated experience. So what you practice grows stronger. And the way this ties into mindfulness for our children is that if they're practicing mindfulness, they're growing these neural pathways of presence, attention, compassion, memory, learning. And so the mindfulness practices are helpful in and of themselves in the moment to get them more centered and more focused, but it's also growing these pathways that are essential for learning, that are essential for health, that are essential for happiness. Basically between the time that you are aware of something happening and the time your brain is registering it is 0.5 seconds. So what that means is for any activity we're consciously doing, whether I'm giving this interview question to you, five seconds before it happened, my brain has already decided what it's going to do. Which is huge because what that means is we already have a, a subconscious direction we want to go. So if you actually stop to be mindful, take a breath, relax, I can shift my behavior. You know, some people would probably be shy in the class, and you know, once mindfulness came, it would really help them to overcome it, and they would be more happy about themselves. So, you know, if you have like a big birthmark on the side of your face or something, you're just shy to show it out, you know, a mindfulness teacher will come over and just tell you, that's the most beautiful thing about you, so you should show it should be proud of yourself and yeah I think it really did help us it like it brings
brings people, it brings the kids like to like this beautiful, um, this beautiful moment of like, oh, I'm here, oh, I'm alive, oh, I'm connected. And it's just so amazing. It's such an amazing gift um, to be able to, you know, really be with yourself and then be able to extend that to someone else. Mindfulness also makes you more aware of where other people are and it makes you better able to meet them where they are, right? And so when teachers are mindful, they get into the classroom and um, the material goes better, they're laughing more, the kids feel like they're respected, right? There's just, so I, you know, it's hard to think of a, a quality that is more important to great teaching than mindfulness. I think mindfulness for teachers really helps them with attention and focus and being able to better manage the difficult situations they may find themselves in. Uh, there's so much going on in the classroom and so being able to be attentive and to be able to be understanding and open to what's taking place could really help a teacher be the most effective they can be. We know that when you are compassionate with yourself, it allows you to be much more compassionate and non-judgmental towards others, which has a very, very positive effect in regard to your relationships and also uh, creating a positive environment around you. What I admire about Mission B is that it's, it's taking this holistic approach to the skills that you want to teach kids, you know, rooted in science. And it's so great to think about gratitude and compassion and altruism and mindfulness, the whole array, because kids need, in a way, to find what fits them best. I'm really glad that Mission B exists and that uh, we actually got to know each other because we had the opportunity to have you come to Facebook and teach a six-hour mindfulness course to my team. And I remember how, how much positive feedback we got from that and how relaxed people were and quote actually was the best off-site ever. I really believe in the work of Mission B, mostly because of Corinne. She is a great leader and somebody who has a passion to bring this great these great practices to the children of our country and hopefully make them better future citizens. We're really grateful for Mission B for coming to the school and providing this instruction to our students. Our online platform will provide teachers with the tools that they need to learn to self-regulate and relax. They'll also be equipped with 12 lessons that they can bring into the classroom once a week for three months and then daily practices that they can teach to the children. The daily practice components include sharing circles, breathing practices, visualization, role plays, dialogues, um, and it's really a plethora of information for an educator. Um, and with our online platform, there is a 140 page curriculum that will also be shared with the educators that breaks down all of the lessons, which are aligned with Common Core learning standards, anti-bullying legislation, and social and emotional learning. So they won't just be learning mindfulness, they'll be learning vocabulary, um, role plays, and these incredible and beautiful lessons that are designed in an age-appropriate way for teachers and their students.